let's get started with this makeup look. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this eye look that I have on. So yeah, I'm going to be using two palettes. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is using this palette that I got off of Hush. And it is this uh, Oakalon. Uh, I can't read that. And it's matte eyeshadow. Um, I can't figure out the shade of it, but I will leave it linked down below so you guys can check out Hush. This palette was only $8, so it's really good, and so far I've really been liking it. It feels like any of my other eyeshadows. So I'm going to take the shade called Mustard from that palette, and I'm going to be running that into my crease. Just in circular motions, and I'm going to be using... Um, the Wet n Wild brush set today. Well, I'm gonna try to use as much brushes as I can from them. And this is their blending brush, and I love it. It's super soft, really great brush. I'm just gonna put that all in my crease. All right, um, uh, moving on, I actually ended up getting my 3502 palette while I was filming this, so. I'm uh, so excited. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Um, and I actually went in with a couple of the warm shades. So it, this does, um, this is like the only palette I've seen that comes with uh, like names. Like now they have names. It's like super reflective, but you guys can see it has names now. Um, and so yeah, so I'm going to be telling you guys what shades I use. I'm gonna go in with some of Universal and Orb just to deepen up the crease, but not too much. It's fine if you get it like too close to your brow because we're gonna go in and highlight the brow later on, so it doesn't really matter. And don't mind my huge like pimple in between my eyebrows. So I'm just going to be using this shade in circular motions. Once I'm done with that shade, I'm just going to go ahead and use this shade called Fire, which is literally what makes this palette. It's such an intense bright red shade, um, and I love a good red, so that's what I'm going to be using. And if you guys are curious, um, the brush is already super red, but this is another brush from the Wet n Wild brush set. It's a really great blending brush, and this set is actually um, $15 right now instead of $30, so I will leave it linked if I can, so you guys can check out this brush because it's bomb. The whole brush set is bomb. They're like super soft. I will say because they are so white though, you can easily stain them, so just be careful. So I'm just going to put that in my crease. I did receive my uh, Morphe brushes order. And I didn't know it was going to arrive today. I thought it was going to arrive tomorrow. Um, but my 39A palette came damaged, you guys. I already emailed their customer service. Um, and they're looking at the photos right now, kind of like debating if they should just like send me a new one, I guess. Um, none of the shadows are damaged, so it's not like too crazy, you know? Like, but just the fact that I paid for this palette and I thought I was going to come so cute and I was so excited and then it just comes broken and my heart's like shattered in a million places because I really, really wanted to like film a video for it. I was legit so excited. I was like, I'm not going to use a 3502. Like, I'm more excited about my 39A and then it comes damaged. And let me show you guys the palette. So it didn't come in like ultimate, like terrible, terrible condition. But this is the 39A, the Dare to Create palette. And this is literally what the palette looks like. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there is literally like crumbs all over it of like other eyeshadows and then it, it's dented inside it's dented on the little corner and then it's dented on top here um regardless it's a gorgeous palette i'm like so in love with it but just the fact that it's so like 
oh, I hate getting a palette and it being broken. I automatically am like, nope, customer service. Because I literally, I never complain to customer service, but I'm like, no, not with my palettes. Like, my palettes are precious to me. So I'm just going to blend some of that color out. It's fine if it goes in like a V. It's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep blending that with the larger blending brush. That's why there's like a lot of red on it. I'm just going in with the shade called Heat, which is this shade right here. I'm putting that more into like the outer corner. This is just like to intensify it a little bit more. It's not necessarily brown to me. It's like a darker kind of orangey brown, um, like a brick brown. Very orange. Just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Also gonna use fire underneath of my lower lash line. But next, I'm gonna be using my little uh, lip brush from Vanity Planet. And I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. And you guys know this is my favorite for cleaning up um, and just cutting up my creases. So I'm just going to take some of this on the small little detail brush. Okay, so once I've had the overall shape of my cut crease, I'm going to go ahead and use that same palette, uh, the little mini one. They do have a lot of kick up, but again, it's not anything crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and use my little flat shader brush, and I'm going to go into the shade called Fly, and I'm going to pick up quite a lot of it. Again, they do kind of like have some kick up, but again, I paid eight dollars for it, and for the most part, they work really well, so I'm not mad at them. I'm just going to apply Fly. Right where I need it. And this is literally going to be like the first time I wet my eyeshadow. But I need to have that like on. So I'm going to pick up Fly again, but this time... I'm going to have it on my brush and I'm going to wet uh, the brush. So I'm just going to use some of my Milani Make It Last setting spray um, and spritz it once. And then it'll just be easier to apply and it'll look nicer. using some of that brush from earlier I'm just gonna go ahead and like blend using a little bit more of fly I'm just gonna put that more towards the crease you're gonna want to make sure it's not patchy then I'm doing like these sort of motions just to blend it to the outer corner. I'm going to take this shade called Mud and I'm going to use a Luxie uh, 231 brush and I'm just going to take that and add it to my outer corner just because you're not going to, it just adds a little bit of definition and it doesn't leave it looking so like empty. So I'm literally just adding that into my outer corner. And you do want to touch your cre I mean your lid shade so that way it looks blended there's no harsh lines and then I'm going to take some of mud and apply it to my lower lash line and the last step is to add some glitter so I'm literally just gonna add just a little bit more 
over here and adding two like little strips of glitter to my half cut crease. It's just gonna make it look more glam and like more put together than like just saving it empty. So there you go. And I'm just gonna add some mascara to my top lashes and then adding some falsies. I'm gonna be using the same one, the Miss Lashes in D109 or D190. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish up with my eyes and I will be right back. So I've been really loving my Anastasia lip palette uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my favorite shade combination or color combination that I've been doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first. For that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Essence lip liner in the shade Satin Mauve. Um, it's been my favorite lately. I've been reaching for it a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Once I have lined my lips, I'm going to go ahead and now add my lip color. You always want to make sure that you are using like a synthetic brush when you are working with like a lip palette like the one that I will be working with today. I'm just going to go ahead and use a little detail brush and I'm going to go ahead and mix the shade 1 and the shade 4. Um, and I do like what? I go into 1 and I apply that on my lips and then kind of just like mix it so one is a little bit too pinky peach for me like for what i like so then i'm just going to go ahead and go into the shade four and these are very matte however if you do want something to last like the whole day i would just recommend going in with like a liquid lipstick um, I did want to also finish with my inner corner and my brow bomb highlight. So, of course, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Precious Petals. You guys know this is like my jam. I love both of these. I'm just going to add that to my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay guys, so that completes today's look using the 3502. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, but I will leave it in the description and like on the screen so you guys know what it's called if you guys want to pick it up on Hush. If you guys want to see more looks using any of these palettes, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And don't forget to check out any of my other videos that I will leave on the screen here. And also, uh, don't forget to turn on your bell notifications if you have not already so you guys never miss a video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.